let's get started putting the uh, door on. Now, I've already cut the flange strips and the spacer strips. Um, you'll notice you'll notice that these have been cut with the uh, perpendicular to the corrugations in the cardboard. Reason, the reason we did that is it gives us a nice clean edge uh, for the door to slide up against. Now the door, I've already cut that, the door we cut lengthwise or, or uh, parallel to the corrugations and that lets it slide back and forth better. The other thing to notice on this door, on, if you look at your cardboard, one side is probably going to be wavy and the other side is going to be nice and smooth. You want that smooth side against the box so you'll get a better uh, seal with the light seals that we're going to put in here in the back. Um, the other thing we did is we added a uh, handle here built up out of three layers of cardboard and just glued on there. So I've marked the box where I basically measured back from the opening just over half an inch and I've marked it down both sides here and I, just to be formal I'll, I'll mark it across the bottom here too. The reason I did that is so I know where to put the glue. Because we're going we're gonna to run the contact cement in here and glue the spacers on here first. So let's just do that. And one thing about contact cement and cardboard, you may find, you may find that uh, you want to put on two coats. You know, put on a coat of, of uh, contact cement and let it um, tack up and dry and then put on another, another layer. You get a much better bond that way. Now we just need to let this uh, uh, tack up and dry for a few more seconds here. Okay, I'm adding a second, I'm just putting on a second coat. Okay, so our contact cement has tacked up, and if you're not familiar with contact cement, you need to realize that the second these two surfaces touch, they are going to be glued together forever. And so you've got to get it lined up right to start with. There you go. I'll just trim, trim the excess away. I'm going to do this bottom, whoops, do this bottom spacer. Carefully trim that down. Now I'm going to double check this real carefully. Make sure that, yeah, we got plenty of room there. We should be good. Before I uh, glue this one on. back in here and line this up. And come up here and trim. Okay, and it, that looks pretty good. Looks like our door's got plenty of room. We'll have to probably squeeze some of this down and get it all to fit, but there we go. So we've got our spacers on. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our light trap up here at the top. This is very sophisticated. We're going to take a piece of our black duct tape. And we're going to come across here as close to the width here as we can get. Now I'm just going to fold this over on itself and leave about a quarter of an inch of adhesive showing. Now I'm just going to turn that over. I've got the adhesive side up on the box and so the flap is down and I'm going to be about halfway halfway between the top of the opening and the top of the box and we just press that in there snug. And what's going to happen as we slide that um, as we slide the door down, 
this will um, seal up against the door and keep the, most of the light out. But just because I'm a little paranoid, I'm going to put another one. This one I'm going to do a little differently. I'm going to come down here to the door opening. I've got a piece, the width of the door opening. I'm going to go around. Looks like I need to trim that just a little bit. Close enough. I'm going to bring it around on the inside about a quarter of an inch on the inside there. Oops. It'd be a lot easier to do this if I turn this around. Didn't have to have a camera on it. Anyway, so I've stuck that on the inside. Now I'm going to stick, I'm going to press it against the inside of the box itself. So it's sticking perpendicular to the front of the box. And now I'm just going to fold this down and put about just over an eighth of an inch of it on the face of the box and squeeze all this together. And now this flap wants to stick out perpendicular to our box. So when we run this down, we're going to have two light traps up here that should catch all the light that's trying to sneak down. If, if you're a little paranoid, you want to add another, uh, another light seal. You can add another one top or bottom of that. So the next thing we're going to do, have that done, we're going to turn back to our glue. And I'm going to put the uh, contact cement on the top of these spacers. Okay, so the, the contact cement's tacked up. We've got two coats on both pieces. I'm going to run this one all the way down to the bottom. And let's turn this so I can get closer to it. It's like I say, once this sticks, oops, you know what, let's, let's just trim that just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to line this up and pretty much once it sticks, it's stuck. There we go. Now I pre-cut this piece, so it should be, oops, I got it, looks like I got it too long. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect because any gaps are going to be, let me trim it just a little more, any gaps are going to be uh, sealed up with duct tape, so. Now for the final piece. Okay, so here we get to demonstrate how to fix your mistakes. I'm just going to, I cut that too long, so I'm just going to slide my blade underneath there and peel that up enough so that I can cut this end off. There we go. I did that on purpose just to demonstrate how to fix it, so... A little bit of a gap there, it's not going to matter, it's going to get sealed up with duct tape, so it should be fine. There we go, spin this around here, I'm going to trim these top pieces off. should see here, we'll push that down, and we should see that our door, whoops, I got it upside down, the door should slide it's a little tight. One of the things I'm going to do with this, I'm not going to leave it in there right now, I don't want, just because the, 
contact cement might still be a little bit tacky. But what I'm going to do with this, I got a little bit of furniture polish here, and I'm just going to put a tiny amount on these edges. The cardboard's already a little bit waxy, but by adding just a little bit of this furniture polish to it, this door should slide. Yeah, it slides much better. So, there's our door. Okay, one more quick thing we need to do. We need to seal up the edges around our door frame. And we're going to do that with our tape. Pretty simple. Just run a strip of tape down it. Rip it off on the end there. And I like to just push it down nice and flat. Crease it into that seam. When you get down here, you can just kind of fold it around the armhole. One. Now, what I would recommend doing is taking a powerful flashlight on the inside and checking these seals and make sure that uh, you've got a light tight seal in there.